the next session coming up is uh, from one of our premier partners who have competencies ranging from managed services to big data and artificial intelligence. I think they're going to talk mostly about artificial intelligence today. Welcome Shiva to the stage from Power of Cloud. All right, thank you. So, uh, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, welcome to the session. My name is uh, Siva. I'm the founder and CEO of Power of Cloud Technologies. We are a, a premier consulting partner with Amazon. And uh, uh, so I'm not here to present about who we are, what our company is, because this is a partner session. I can do whatever I want, but I'm not going to do that. So we have four parts to the presentation today. The first part, five minutes, you'll have to be here with me. I'll have to take you through what we do as a company. The second part is about <coughs> understanding the differences between uh, machine learning, deep learning, and AI. Number three is a little more deep dive into AI. So how how is AI classified today? And uh, how can we apply that to our business? So that's the third part. And the fourth part is a couple of uh, solutions that we built for our customers. One is around uh, uh, Amazon Lex, which is something which powers Amazon Alexa on the back end, which you see in Echo devices. And the second demo is around uh, uh, Amazon Recognition, which is a facial recognition uh, API which a AWS launched recently. So, okay, yeah, thank you. So this this is how we are <coughs> we have uh, divided this uh, presentation. Yeah. So so who we are? So we are an Amazon Premier Consulting Partner, uh, and uh, we also have DevOps competency. We have uh, achieved big data competency as well. So we started as purely as a cloud consulting company. Uh, doing consult migrations and managed services, but very soon we started focusing around big data and AI because that's how we were able to get into large uh, enterprise customers. Uh, how about us? In about uh, uh, we've done close to about 500 projects, about 120 associates, strong primarily out of Bangalore. Uh, we have a small team in Mumbai as well. Uh, four countries. We operate in India, Singapore, uh, Dubai, and the US. And uh, all this we did in three years, completely bootstrapped till date. Uh, primarily thanks to Amazon because they've been an amazing partner for us in our growth. Uh, awards and recognition, we won uh, Innovation Partner of the Year Award with Amazon in 2016. And in 2017, uh, we won the Mobility Awards. Came second, sorry, we didn't win. So <laughs> among about 700 partners. So uh, what do we do in services? Uh, it's uh, cloud consulting. So that's our primary service. That's how we started three years back. And then 247 managed services. We have, we support close to about 60 global customers, uh, all the way from Australia to US. Provide DevOps and uh, continuous support for their applications on cloud. We do a lot of stuff around AI. In fact, AI is the biggest, fastest growing team for us in the last two quarters. The team grew from probably a couple of them to about 30 people in the last two uh, quarters for us, and that's growing, uh, growing from there on. And the fourth one is data analytics. So there is no AI without data analytics. So uh, that's another area where uh, uh, where we are concentrating as well. Uh, products, uh, not just the services. We also ended up, ended up building products basically in this journey. So we, we built and launched uh, our enterprise chatbot platform, era.ai, which is renamed as Botzer for the global customers. We have a booth at, a, at the Innovation Pavilion. We have an a Amazon Echo device as well. If you want to try out some demo, you can actually try out there. It's along with uh, facial recognition. Uh, the second product is Chanak. It's an AI-powered uh, uh, cloud management platform. We actually replaced our L0 support team, human support team, with a neural network-based decision-making engine. This is amazing. That's what we did with Chanak because we were able to actually uh, move, up, move, move out probably close to about 25 L0 support engineers to L1 support. That's what uh, uh, AI can do in decision-making today for you. And the third one is Recomind, which is a mass uh, emailing and SMS platform which runs on Amazon. So this is our product suite. Uh, today, the <coughs> we're going to see what machine learning is all about, AI is all about, and uh, there's no uh, best place to than to start with Dilbert here. Uh, it's a very classical thing because people do track Amazon tracks, YouTube tracks what you watch, and they rec and recommend the same crap to you again. Sorry for the language, but uh, that's what recommendation engine is all about. That's where machine learning comes in. Uh, <laughs> But a lot of customers, when we speak to our customers, they, they get it wrong, basically, right? They Overnight, they call us and tell, uh, see, I want to do something in AI. I have some budgets. Why don't you come and build something for me? So I went in. This is this is, this is probably a 100,000 plus uh, employee company, right? So their CEO calls me in, and I went in there, and he said, uh, uh, what do you guys do? I said, I gave the whole pitch about AI, machine learning, about 30 minutes. Then he said, okay, Acha, why don't you build a Travis for me? So Travis, if you guys know from Iron Man movie, from Avengers, right? 
So I said, uh, if you want, if you if you if you want us to build a Travis, probably I should leave my company and my wife and come and sit for you. That's how we can build Travis. I can I can be the Travis for you. I cannot build a Travis for you because AI is not matured to that level today. So it's that's <laughs> so there's a big gap between what our understanding from movies than what actually is possible today from by partners like us. Uh, okay, I cannot say what happened. I don't know. There, are, there was a there was a demo by another large technology company a couple of days back. You, have, you guys would have seen how the interactions happen in in uh, in booking a table at a restaurant. So that's that's something really good. That's where we are getting towards. But you cannot build a Travis overnight. So uh, so what's so how the maturity curve looks like in this whole uh, field? So it starts with data. A lot of companies call in and say, I want to build a deep learning platform. I want to build machine learning for my business to extract insights. I want you to build AI engines. But the problem is they don't have data in the first place. So we start with data. Okay, let's get all the data together for you at one place. And uh, let's, that's, that's what we define as big data, basically, right? So let's start with data. Then machine learning comes in. Then deep learning comes in. And then finally, uh, AI comes in. This is the maturity curve that... Uh, an ideally an enterprise or a mid-market company should follow because if we follow this uh, uh, path, we'll be able to actually achieve results much faster. If companies start at AI, you'll have to come all the way to data and then go through the cycle all over again. Uh, so this leads to the question, what is big data? So as IBM put it uh, beautifully, big data is all about four Vs. Uh, number one is volume. If you have so much data to crunch, then it becomes a big data problem for you. If you have different types of data to crunch, it becomes a big data problem for you. If you have uh, so much data to crunch at a, at a faster speed, then it becomes a big data problem as well. And then the fourth one is uh, veracity, right? So if, you, if your data is inconsistent, you don't know how, what kind of data you're going to get, then again, it becomes a big data problem. So these four Vs actually defines a big data problem for you today. And, uh, and you'll, as a company, you'll have to see if you are at the right stage to even consider building a big data platform for yourself. Uh, then, then it leads to machine learning. What's machine learning? So machine learning is a process where you consume the data by applying statistical modeling on it. Uh, the engine learns progressively through a feedback mechanism, and it, over, it improves efficiency over a period of time. This is what machine learning, is, uh, simply put. Uh, one best example is the uh, recommendations that you see in Amazon.com. Uh, this is a superb application example for machine learning, basically. Uh, the other top use cases we use in fraud detection of credit card transactions, spam emails. We use in targeted marketing. Uh, prediction, predicting sales, predicting campaign uh, uh, outcomes, etc. So all this are popular use cases. These are, the way, these are the areas where we do machine learning projects for our customers today. And uh, predicting, so this is one of the projects that we did for a large automobile manufacturer where uh, they wanted us to actually build a model which can predict if a walk-in customer will end up buying a car from their dealership. This is what the problem was, uh, the question was. So uh, what we did, we took one year data, last one year sales data from them, which included uh, everyone who visited their uh, dealership. Uh, we built several ML engines and uh, which actually picks the demographics of the users and their uh, result, did they end up buying a car, etc. all those data. We divided this 12-month data into eight months and four months. Eight-month data was used to train and four months was used as a test data. And we ran this ML <laughs> engines against uh, test data set to see if we are able to achieve uh, the desired accuracy. And yes, uh, while we had about at least 80% accuracy. But the thing is, we did not achieve this on day one. We actually tried different combinations of ML engines, different combinations of input data to achieve this uh, 85% accuracy. And this was pre-SageMaker era. With Amazon SageMaker coming in, now all of that is automated. So that's the best part about SageMaker. And uh, so here, if you see, now the now what happens is we build this ML engine. We then integrated that to an application which runs on a tablet. The, 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 the sales guy at the dealership has this tablet. When a customer walks in, he quickly takes the uh, details about the customer, where they are from, what they do, etc. Once he does that, he is able to actually run this uh, uh, ML on engine on top of the data and see what is the probability of this customer buying a car. If yes, what is the probability against a sedan, against an SUV, against a hatchback? So this is how this is the power of ML in real time, and this we were able to see that in real time. The accuracy is 85 percentage. That's what we were able to achieve, and the engine continuously improves from there on, basically. So this is how we can apply ML practically today. Uh, now coming to coming to deep learning. So what do we do in deep learning? Very similar to machine learning, but slightly different in terms of how. 
deep learning engines behave. It again consumes data, but instead of applying any statistical model on day one, it actually starts understanding the relationship between the data points, the data representation basically. Uh, it then understands patterns and uh, enables uh, decision making in the end. That's why if, if whenever you see an AI, artificial intelligence, you also see deep learning attached to that. So uh, a good example is how uh, a black and white image when uh, passed through a uh, trained in neural networks engine uh, becomes a color image because the neural networks knows what gray scale that is, what kind of color has to be passed on, and then it applies colors to it. So this is a good example of how a deep learning engine works. <coughs> now, understanding AI. So like I said, uh, this, this, uh, uh, it's, it's very important to understand where we are in the maturity cycle with AI and what we can achieve today. So what is, a, what is AI? It's a machine mimicking cognitive functions that human associates, uh, asso humans associate with other human minds, such as uh, learning, problem solving, speaking, hearing, etc. And uh, there are several methods to build your AI engine, deep, deep, uh, deep neural networks, uh, probabilistic modeling, reinforcement algorithms, all, all these are game theory, all these are ways to do it. Uh, but it's very, again, very important, like I said, to understand the different types of AI, AI we have today. So three major types. One is uh, general AI and uh, uh, perception AI and decision-making AI. So these images probably give you a good picture of what these, uh, uh, what are the, what, what's the different difference between three AI uh, types. Let us go in detail. So general AI. General AI is the phase uh, uh, where a machine can perform cognitive functions and decision-making capabilities of a human without supervised learning. So what you see in movies like iRobot and Chappie and all of this, where the m machine is able to uh, speak to a human as a human, thinking like a human, etc. That's what general AI is, and no one has achieved that till date, right? So everyone, all the top technology giants are trying to achieve that, and that's where, that's the ultimate goal. <laughs> the second AI, perception AI, which is very much there, this is nothing but your natural language processing, image recognition, object detection in video, speech processing, language translation. So all this come under perception AI. And this is an AI uh, area where we can play around with, where we can work today. And the third one is decision-making AI. Your self-driving cars, advanced customer support chatbots, automated monitoring and support engines. So number two and number three we built today. We built today. There are Fortune 100 companies running our solutions today. So uh, uh, <coughs> you can come to our booth to know more about this. So this is where uh, our players, decision-making AI, can we use neural networks? Can we use uh, the, uh, the cognitive APIs which Amazon uh, supplies? And can we build a decision-making AI engine for our customer which improves business processes? So this is exactly the problems, uh, problems that we solve today in our uh, AI side. So that's uh, primarily what uh, uh, AI, uh, different types of AI are. Now coming to solution that we built, uh, we built a chatbot, we built several chatbots uh, powered by na uh, natural language processing and neural networks. We built a voice, uh, uh, voice BA powered by uh, natural language processing. So you can actually ask for reports, specific reports, and the engine will be able to show you reports. Uh, face recognition, real-time surveillance videos. I'll, I have a couple of demos which I'm going to show you how we uh, did that. Face recognition for visitor management systems, uh, voice enabling of business applications. We did it. We did this for a massive enterprise where we voice enable 170 applications, internal applications for them. Now they just have to uh, call the application, call Alexa, and apply for a leave or approval leave. They don't have to go to these applications and apply manually. So that's what we did. And natural language search for old contracts. This we did for a mining company as well. So if you see, these are the areas where you can practically apply AI today. And uh, and that's that's what we've done. Now uh, we'll switch over to the demo quickly. Uh, yeah, it's nothing but a reporting platform which you can actually uh, uh, call call the reports by using voice commands basically, right? Show me the sales for a particular store for the last 20 days. The engine actually throws up your uh, reports. Imagine you have uh, uh, an echo device on your table. All you have to do is tap the echo device and ask for reports. And you have a large display in front of you. The report automatically comes up in your uh, television or screen, basically. So this is what we've done. So future future is going to be voice-based completely. That is, uh, you, don't, you will not be having uh, devices that we carry today. So that's the reason Amazon companies like Amazon are spending a lot of time, a lot of money into building uh, the natural language processing and speech recognition, etc. And that's what we, we are doing as well. So please do visit our uh, blog. You'll be able to actually try these, uh, uh, try these platforms, try these demos uh, on your own. Or do visit us from, at our booth, Power Up Cloud, booth here at the Gold uh, Partner section. We also have a Botzer, 
booth at the Innovation Pavilion. You can visit there as well. We will be able to show you demos of uh, Amazon Lex and recognition and uh, Alexa as well. So uh, thank you for your time and uh, see you at lunch. Thank you. Bye.